Hello, hello viewers. Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. This is Frederick Kidongo from Superhighway Estate, Kenya, where I flock from. This is very early morning, it's about 7 o'clock here in Kenya. Uh, it is a bit cloudy and uh, cool. It has been warm and very hot, but today it is very, very cool. Uh, good morning, viewers, wherever you are all over the world. Uh, here again is Frederick Dungo from Superhighway Estates, where I flock from, and where I reside. Uh, this is a good morning here in Kenya. It's a bit uh, cool, not like uh, yesterday when it was very hot. Uh, it's cloudy and the sun is almost coming out, but uh, it's covered by the clouds. time soon. I know some of you are in the morning hours and the others are at night. Uh, others could be midday uh, and others we are same time time soon. This is morning where we are taking our breakfast. I am frogging in Kenyatta Road today. Uh, previously I had gone to my village and I'm happy for many of you that have been following and that of many who have uh, subscribed, uh, please receive my greetings. I greet you and I'm very thankful and I pray to God to bless each one of everyone who is following me here because you have made me whom I am. I'm proud. I started talking to myself. Now I'm talking to people all over the world. Thank you, my viewers. Thank you, my followers. Thank you, my friends. You are all to Frederick Ndungo. Follow me to the end because I'll give you content upon content as I promised you. Nothing edited, nothing photoshopped, but I give you the real Kenya. What, what it is and at the place that I'm shooting. Continue following me. I'm happy as I will also make you very happy. Yes, friends, uh, I'm still on my way to the place I want to give you today's vlog. Uh, as we say, Super Highway Estate. Fasting morning, the activities, people going to various places uh, where they get their daily bread. Thank you, thank you my friends. Those are friends greeting me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm happy. You made me happy today. And again there, I have got a friend, a fellow YouTuber. I senior because he has got uh, over thousands uh, subscribers and is getting more and more. He's monetized. Uh, thank you. I know you also taking me there. I thank you so 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 much. Uh, here you can see people are prepared to go to work. This person who is dealing with the construction industry and he has loaded in his pickup the equipment uh, for that work. Oh, thank you. As you follow me. So, my friends, we have left the gate now. And this is the gate is separating the superhighway into two sections the residential and the commercial. I'm coming from the residential side and now I'm going to do the frog elsewhere. Please continue following me. Seeing as I you see this wonderful estate, one of its kind. And I hope wherever you are, one day you visit me. <laughs> uh, my friends, uh, I was talking, someone was talking to me, thought I'm taking his video. But I was not taking hands because I'm doing so here. I'm not using the front camera and the back camera as we always imagine. Thank you, that's a rapid road bringing in materials. I uh, construction keep on going on here in Super Highway Street. It's ever going on. Uh, it's, uh, with a board of friends of mine. Uh, this is the stage. This is where they pick and drop passages from our estates, especially uh, meant for our estates, 
And so that whenever they carry even at night, you are sure there are people you know, and they will not uh, in any way be deceitful. Uh, the young men who have made uh, their life very good using uh, the motorbikes, which is known as Boda Boda here in Kenya, and they are earning a good living. And some of them are so organized that they are even buying uh, plots uh, and building this kind of houses for themselves. I started uh, some years back when we were using bicycles and uh, that was somewhere in the 90s but uh, in early 2000 when we got a new government the motorbikes were introduced, it came in cheaply and, and now it's a booming, booming business uh, which is almost done by about uh, uh, they, they estimate about uh, 2 to 5 million youth are engaged in the business all over Kenya and as I told you earlier also, they are also in the other countries of East Africa and also in Africa, in general they are there. So my friends, wherever you are, continue watching. I love you and I'll give you good content. And this is this one of a uh, very booming business here in, in Kenya, cooking gas. Uh, and it is packed in this kind of containers. Uh, I know in our countries it's piped, but in Kenya, it's usually packed in uh, those containers, uh, different sizes, costing a different amount of money. And it's recruiting also, and it's started by young men generally doing it. Uh, they do home delivery. Once you want uh, gas, yours is, uh, is finished, so they, are, they will bring it to our doorstep. And it's a good business for us here. Because it's also help us reduce the destruction of uh, forests. Uh, of course, formerly we used to use uh, firewood to do all our cooking and warming our houses. Viewers, I continue giving you more. This is still super high estate as I move on to another estate. It was uh, super high estate. Early morning, this is a commercial area. Uh, people going to different places of their work. As you can see, it's early morning. Where will you go to continue? Uh, that is uh, my fellow YouTuber from Nyabohanze village, Isbania, at Yamarwas, who is our good mentor. He has helped us to start uh, YouTube. He's a very generous man. He hides no information from us. And uh, we thank God for him. And I know you also follow him in his channel. I am Amaro. Uh, this is a uh, super high west again. As you can see, this commercial area. Um, it's early in the morning, businesses are not yet open yet. Uh, because uh, most people uh, already have gone away to their places where they work, where they do businesses. So, those who have remained behind. Most likely we will not uh, start by shopping, but we will do it later on. So for breakfast, we purchase it a day earlier. Because in the morning, uh, you might be disappointed. Because sometimes they open these shops around 8. Or 8 that in the morning. Wasted high rise. So, my friends, you can see how busy people uh, are here. Going to the different shows. We have got people, like the vehicles and uh, commercial vehicles carrying, carrying sand and building materials. How it is early morning here and Kenyatta Road. We power off the railway line because there's not turbans. Because 
Sarah Mort, in the brain, the little fetus of the Awa, the Yata Road, Ninja Kenya, Africa. care of by the government. Uh, there are times it was very bushy and looked neglected but it's ever busy because train passes here every other hour. Transporting goods and transporting people are from the northern part of Kenya to capital city to the coast to the border with Kenya and Tanzania and uh, the border Kenya and uh, Uganda. All that happens using this railway. And uh, years back it used to be completely forgotten and uh, and dilapidated, but now it has been rehabilitated. It's become a very useful part of Kenyan infrastructure. So you can see it. Uh, it's a sign of uh, a waking up nation, developing nation. As you can see, it is very cloudy morning, but the sun has come appeared now uh, through the clouds. Uh, we hope the temperatures that we have experienced of late will go down a degree or two. Keep on following me, my good friend. Views uh, here yeah, have come across the workers who are rehabilitating the railway line. It's wonderful. It has created employment to thousands of youth in our country because the railway line uh, cut across the country and uh, it is a major infra infra infrastructure. Though for some time it was neglected but uh, from previous government it is, they started rehabilitating it and uh, making it useful once again because of carrying uh, the bulk loads otherwise the bulk loads so are destroying the, the roads so instead of using the roads and destroying the roads they, have, they are coming back to be ferried through the railway line uh, viewers, uh, this is an old estate I uh, started, uh, started many years back. Sorry, I've got a phone call. If you was, uh, this is uh, an estate uh, known as Bayside. <coughs> also started along the others, uh, late 90s. And, uh, as I can see, it, it is not uh, controlled. Years back when I was here, it seemed like a controlled development, uh, but now it isn't because there are so many uh, flats which have come up here. Businesses have come along. And uh, I wonder if those who are still holding the, 
It's residential weather, they'll, they'll survive here because of what is coming up here. Uh, this, you can see the floods that have come up and are continue coming up. Almost everybody now developing is having uh, the floods coming. Again, it's the few residential which were here originally. Like the one we, like the one we can see behind you here. Yeah one of the homes which was here and now as I look here again there was another home it's another home here which was here originally but uh, what is happening is that this place is changing to be commercial high rises and a high density originally it was low density but seemed to have changed I don't know whether they did it intentionally or people who came later on did not want to follow the order I don't know whether they have got any association here to control the development. Uh, I'm seeing a different picture than the one I knew before. No, this has uh, changed the face of this place. Let's see the kind of building that they have here. They have got flats upon flats, and the few residential areas seem to be. Uh, Drowned by this huge building that have come. Uh, this is where the statues or how you know them. And uh, this is also the statues as I used to know them. But it has changed a lot. As I am going to show you. Viewers, uh, this is uh, an estate uh, known as the Bayside. <coughs> Also started along the others, uh, late 90s. And uh, as I can see, it, it is not uh, controlled. Years back when I was here, it seemed like a controlled development. Uh, but now it isn't because there are so many uh, flats which have come up here. Businesses have come along. And uh, I wonder if those who are still holding the residential whether they will they will survive here because of what is coming up here. Uh, this, you can see the flats that have come up and are continue coming up. Almost everybody now developing is having uh, the flats coming. Again, it's the few residential which were here originally. The one we, like the one we can see behind you here, yeah. it's one of the homes which was here. And now, as I look here again, there was another home, it's another home here which was here originally. But uh, what is happening is that this place is changing to be commercial, high rises, and a high density. Originally, it was low density, but seemed to have changed. I don't know whether they did it intentionally or people who came later on did not want to follow the order. I don't know whether they have got any association here to control the development. Uh, I'm seeing a different picture than the one I knew before. No, it has changed the face of this place. Let's see the kind of building that they have here. They have got flats upon flats. And the few residential areas seem to be uh, drowned by this huge building that have come. And uh, this is where the statues or how you know them. And uh, these are also the statues as I used to know them. But it has changed a lot. As I am going to show you. We can see there is sewer line here constructed, but the buildings that have come up, these are high rise. Hey, like this one is a big story building of uh, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stories. It has dwarfed the original uh, residential houses. They are becoming obsolete.
So this place I have changed just to carry. I didn't know. Like you can see there, uh, the residentials are being dwarfed by the flats that are coming. Don't know how the owners of these places who came here originally are taking it, but it's a very different picture than the one uh, I knew before. Ten years ago, this place have completely changed. You see the flats are dwarfing every other development here that had taken place in all those other years. It's a regional inhabitant here, but uh, scenery has changed. Scenery has changed. Uh, everywhere are uh, Flats and flats and uh, high high rise flats. As you can see the it's very crowded today. It seemed dark and uh, it is daytime. But, but it is weather. The weather has made it uh, dark. Because of that. Because of the crowds. Crowd, it's very crowded today. So, if you was, uh, as I was telling you, this place has changed. It's not what it used to be. Uh, this now seems to be a mixed development. It seems as if people are just developing what they want. And it's usually many people who prefer to have uh, rental houses rather than residential here in town because the demand for residential houses is ever increasing as people immigrate from uh, rural area to town looking for elusive jobs uh, what I'm seeing here is something that I do not expect the piece I used to know is not the one I'm seeing today it is all flats, 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 flats it has really changed and businesses everywhere I don't know whether the residential people are comfortable. Uh, like what we have here, this was a residential house that is uh, seem to be surrounded by upcoming upcoming the commercial development. Another another flats are coming is coming here. I wonder whether the owners who, who occupied here originally are still around or they have sold off their property. Okay. This place now has become like a new wood or real. I don't know whether these are the new developers who have come to develop the uh, and develop plots or they are selling off or they are buying off the inhabitants here to putting up such kind of structures. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, there's still another place here. The owner has kept a, a chunk of land where they are still farming. Uh, this one is not like Kenyatta Road. Uh, this one has maintained his farm. He has got uh, maize, bananas, trees, uh, indigenous trees, and in the background you can see that upcoming high-rise building. Oh, oh, oh. So a few hours I was telling you, this place has changed. You can see the high-rise that have come here. Uh, a few undeveloped plots. But I know the owners who come to develop here, they only construct the high-rise buildings for commercial purposes, not for residential, to get a sharing or two from tenants and the original inhabitants. I would know, I don't know where they have gone to. They are happy to do with it, or they have shifted elsewhere. Uh, 
Uh, this is known as base side. This is known as base uh, And again, and as you can see, it has completely changed. It was not like this. Uh, they used to call it uh, a lake side. And, uh, I think they change the name now to the commercial side of Kenyatta Road. Kenyatta Road is changing. So the new inhabitants who are coming here are interested in high-rise buildings, commercial in nature, like you can see this one here. It's a big one. It's a huge construction. Housing very many people. Huge, huge, huge. Here, because this huge one, you can see, and others there, you can see the background. Hey, I didn't know this thing has changed. Uh, Sophia, I've talked to one of the businessmen here, and he tells me from the word go, this was a, a free place where you can construct whatever you want to construct. Though the original people who came here constructed their uh, residential houses here, uh, that was not uh, a rule. Uh, it's what they wanted, and any other person who came later on could construct whatever they want to. And that's why we are finding this kind of mixture development. And we have got flats, and we have got um, bungalows. And as you can see, them uh, they were constructed a long time ago through that kind of uh, roofing, this kind of young sheet, uh, they were old one. <coughs> so sorry for that. And um, you can see also there were some people who had uh, mushrooms, little mushrooms there. But all, all, all uh, now that is uh, a place where I think they have to change their plan. Otherwise. Uh, it is no longer tenable with this kind of development that has come or spilling up here. Everywhere I see here are uh, flats and flats. But, uh, the few places are developed, I can bet they also be flats. So the residentials here are threatened. There's no way they will survive here uh, alongside the flats that are being built here. Uh, it's good for those people who want commercial houses, for rent houses here, but uh, bad for those who had constructed their own homes here. But all is not lost because they can sell the property and shift elsewhere. Uh, maybe in upcoming rural areas or within the estate where there's controlled development, as you can see. Uh, and as uh, other part of Kenyatta Road, it is quiet because people go away uh, to work for their living elsewhere and come back in the evening uh, from the places where they had gone. All the same, this is a very, this is a very different uh, uh, base side as I used to, to know it. And you can see the crowd day it is, and uh, the threatened residents who came here uh, to have a quiet life, but with the renters, it's no longer so, unless they shift to another place, and, or, or convert them to the flats as they are being constructed here. Sewer line here. This is sewer line. As you can see, the government has done them well. 
They have constructed them uh, sewer line. Still, there are people who are doing their farming here. We have got dark, dark and dark things all along here. Uh, this is a homestay. You can see it. And here, this is where the original settlers came and they, are, they constructed the residentials here before the big investors came to construct the flats and high rise buildings. This is the other side of Kenyatta Road. My viewers, remember to like, share, comment, uh, and subscribe. I'm happy you are doing so. God bless you, my friend. The birds, they are very nice. Hey, good parts. Yes, this was homestead. This was originally here. And I can guess even this person had a house like this, but has changed it now. It's constructive flats. This are the one who had even chicken shirts. But uh, things are changing here. Not changing. You can see the kind of building that was constructed here. I wonder whether the owner is now comfortable with the latest development. Residences. I don't know whether they are at ease. They are no longer at ease. Uh, with this kind of development, latest development, I wonder whether these uh, residents are having it easy. Uh, they have done beautiful work here, buildings, but now it's all threatened. Their peace has been interfered with. So I guess. I guess hey, 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 hey. development upon development of high rise buildings threatening the saline and quiet environment of original inhabitants here we inhabited here this is the case today it's the case today what's happening here and in the first building here this was the case before this was the case before And again, this was the case before. This was how it was before. And you can see what it is today. What's coming up today. I don't know whether the, this scenario or the inhabitant of this residential places are at ease are at ease with the, with this with this with that my friends my friends I'm not uh, inciting anybody I have I'm only showing you what it is now on the ground in Bayside and uh, surrounding estates, but it is a change, a big change, or it is an about turn 
of the uh, original intention of the original owners of this place all the same I'm not being judgmental so my viewers my viewers uh, thank you for following me uh, the sun has come out very brightly yeah I'm trying to get a good angle uh, that I can introduce my friends to you. Yes, it's, it's, yes, yes, yes. It's a YouTuber. Hello, good people. Itembo yes. 001. Itembe 001. one in the village, guys, you know. You can show, yes. you can show his link here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. You can you show uh, them with the phone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, thank you so much, my dad, uh, my fellow YouTuber, Frederick Ndungu, for hosting me to your channel. I really appreciate and say thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much, my subscriber, for always supporting my my father here, Frederick Ndongo. We are one teamwork, one family, peace and love. Uh, I go by the name Itembe001, your boy from the villages, you know. I do content by uh, village lifestyle in Africa and traveling. And uh, for now, I'm from the village, I'm in Nairobi, whereby we are with Frederick Ndongo, you know and we are trying to bring hot content to you guys you know from east africa you know but now we are i'm in africa you know kenya this this is the big city in nairobi you know we really appreciate and i say thank you so much for always supporting uh frederick Ndungu. if you are from my side check uh subscribe to frederick Ndungu. Uh, share the video support my He's my brother, my father, my fellow YouTuber. Peace and love. Uh, one family, one teamwork. Thank you so much. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate and we say God bless you for everything where you are. Welcome, Africa. Come meet Frederick Ndung with Tembe 001 here, your boy, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <coughs> Thank you, my fellow YouTuber. Yes. Uh, Itembe 001. Yes. Uh, friend Kidongo from uh, Subhai Estate, where I flog from. Yeah. Uh, Subhai Estate is in Kenyatta Road, Kenyatta yeah. Road, Juja, Kenya, East Africa. Yes. I love you so, so, so much this particular morning. Thank you for following me. And whatever time zone you are in, I greet you and I wish you well. I wish you good sleep. I wish you a happy day. I wish you a productive day. If it is your day time, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you all. Bye until we meet again in the next vlog. I love you guys. This is a, a, a new estate that I was uh, vlogging, known as Bayside. But it is not what I thought it was. It has changed. Yes. It has changed and changed. I don't know whether the residents are happy with it or not. But the original owners who constructed homes I, I, I'm yet to know what they are saying about the new development that I've seen here. I'm not uh, condemning anybody or inciting anybody, but this is what it is. Thank you. See you again in next vlog.